Tanzama Ishi Tanzama Yesu Kwa kutazama ili sisi tuishi sasa na baadae bwana tukaishi na wewe na wewe mirere tomba ya kwamba Mungu unene na nafsi zetu mioyo yetu bwana ikujue zaidi tukue katika imani tukue katika kukujua na zaidi ya yote bwana tuzidi kukutegemea Napoketi bwana tuombe ya kwamba unene nasi zote pamoja hata nami ninaposimama hapa tuombe ya kwamba utubariki kwa katika jina yake Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini Amina naomba tuketi Ah nigependa kushukua nafasi hii kuwasalimia wote katika jina la Yesu ah bwana asifiwe a uh, Yesu ni mwema na kila wakati na jina lake lipewe sifa. Jina langu naitwa John Mwangi a uh, wa Mureithi na nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana. Yesu amekuwa mlinzi wangu na amekuwa rafiki wa karibu katika hii safari ya wokofu na ninashukran kwa ajili ya kuniokoa na kunipa agano katika Yesu. Kwa hivyo tegemeo langu ni Yesu. Na maisha hapa duniani ikiisha nikaishi na Yesu mirere kule biguni na kwa hivyo nimeokoka. Ah mimi ni mmoja wenu kwa sababu natoka katika hili parkia St Margaret uh, Mirere Congregation na kwa hivyo nashukuru nafasi nashukua nafasi hii kushukuru viongozi wa kanisa hasa the parish minister Reverend Mirengo who have given me the opportunity to be here and this privilege na ninashukuru sana nimeokoka na nimeoa bibi mmoja anaitwa Naomi Mwangi na tumebarikiwa na watoto uh, wengi na tunashukuru Bwana Bwana asifiwe sana uh, mimi ni mwanafunzi wa theology kwa wakati huu na kwa hivyo kazi yangu ni kusoma neno Bwana asifiwe. Ah, nataka tushiki tusikie neno la Mungu kwa wakati mchache ambao atatupatia na najua tutabarikiwa. Ah, niko hapa ikiwa wiki ya kwanza kutoka wakati umekuwa na revival ama progress yetu ya mwaka na kwa hivyo najua tuko katika this is the first Sunday after the progress. Maana tulikuwa na climax on Sunday na kwa hivyo ninaongea na watu ambao wamekua na ambao wameimarika na ambao wamenenewa wiki mzima. Na kwa hivyo siku ya leo ningetaka tusikize ujube ambao unasema uh, kwa nini Mungu anataka tukue katika kumjua na katika umungu. Why is that they said that God wants us to grow in godliness. Maana tumefunzwa tukue na kubuka mtumishi wa Mungu leo lady ya siku ya kwanza alitufunza kuhusu kuwa watoto wa kiloho. Siku ya pili atakatufunza kuhusu kuwa wamiliki heirs. Na swali kubwa ambalo ningetaka tuweze kulijibu ni kuwa kwa nini Mungu anatusukumilia kukua? Na nigetaka kuwapatia jawambu na kusema ya kwamba Mungu agetaka tukue na ili tukakuwa watu wa kumuabudu. Thank you, Degwa. Mungu anataka tukue na ili tukawa watu wa kumuabudu Mungu kwa haki na ukweli hataki tu tukue hivyo he does not want us just to grow but the purpose of our growth should be that he want us to grow to become true worshipers 
As the Bible says, the book of John chapter 4, that Jesus tells the Samaritan woman, Ya kwamba wakati umefika, ya kwamba watu wakamwabudu mungu kwa ukweri na kwa haki. Kwa hivyo sababu kuu ya mungu kutuuba, ni tukawa watu wakumwabudu. Kwa hivyo angetaka tujawe na umungu, godliness, tusome neno, tuwe watu wakuimalika. Ili muishowe kabisa, we give a final product. Ile tunasema ya kwamba, this is what the Lord wants from us. He wants us to make us true worshippers. Bona asifiwe. Na kwa hivyo hiyo diyo lengo. Watu wabao wameimarika katika mioyo yao. Watu wabao wako na matunda ya kiloho. Watu wabao Yesu Kristo mwenyewe. Hana aibu kuwapatiana kwa bamba ya kwamba hii ndio kazi ambayo nilienda nikaifanya kwa miaka mitatu na hawa watu ndio walikuitikia so the lord want to present us to our father as a final product that is the true worshipers hallelujah na kwa hivyo biblia imejawa na watu wabao waliabudu bwana kwa ukweli watu walifika mahali wakasema sasa Nitaishi maisha matakatifu Na kwa hivyo siku ya leo Nigetaka tuwagazie mama mmoja Abaye jina yake ni Hana Abaye hakika ripitia shagamoto sana za maisha Rakini rifika mahali Hana akawa na musimamo Na akatazama akaona Hakika nimekuwa na maisha ya kare Rakini wakati huu Nataka kuwa na upia na mungu wangu I want to have a renewed life a renewed journey with my God Na kwa hivyo siku ya leo Nigetaka tuwagazie huyu mama Abaya na ito wa Hana Tuwa mchua vizuri sana Hana wa Erikana Bwanaki alikuwa na ito wa Erikana Na pia Hana alikuwa Na ame a, 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 Ameolewa Na mzea na ito wa Erikana Na wakapata mama mwigine Abaya alikuwa na ito wa Penina Lakini nigetaka kusema ya kwamba Hana alikuwa amefungwa katika hali yake ya kupata mtoto na tutaona baadaye kwamba ni Mungu mwenyewe alimfunga na kwa hivyo wakati Elikana aliona ya kwamba ni kama huyu mama Hazai baada ya, wa, ya kuwa wameoana kwa miaka kumi for 10 years of barrenness alikuwa ameishi bila mtoto wamejaribu halifanyiki huyu mzee akafa moyo na akasema ya kwamba ataoa mzee mwingine na akaoa aka, aka, mama mwingine na akamuoa Penina kwa hivyo wakati Penina amekuja amekuja katika familia ambayo inamgojea sana inamgojea akuje alete tegemeo lao imemgojea sana ili akuje apatie huyu mzee a, a trista hope in life na kwa hivyo penina anapokuja Mungu anambariki na watoto lakini yeye yeah, anasahau ya kwamba ni kibari tu cha Mungu kimemfanya akue katika ile familia na kwa hivyo yeye yeah, anaanza kuwa na marigo anaanza kuwa mtu wabaye amebadilika anaanza kuwa ni mtu wabaye anaona yeye yeah, ameendelea lakini hana hajaendelea na kwa hivyo akaanza kuwa mtu wakum wakum wakumok kumuonea kumuogelea vibaya kuwa ni mtu wabaye eh anali kumkejeri akawa ni mtu anamkejeri akawa ni mtu wabaye hasimami na yeye instead of penina akuje ainue huyu mama kwa sababu kubuka kukibuka katika maisha ya waibrania mke wa kwanza ndiye alikuwa anapatia mume wake idhini ya kuoa bibi wa pili na kwa hivyo inawezekana kuwa hana alipatia elikana kibali cha kuoa penina lakini penina anapokuja anabadilika na anakuwa mtu mbaya lakini biblia inasema ya kwamba huyu mama akateseka kwa muda mrefu mzee wake alijua ya kwamba this woman is not happy na kwa hivyo wakati mwingine alikuwa na anampa pumziko anampa maneno ya kumpa nguvu anamwambia kwa nini unalia kwa nini uko na shida na wewe uko zaidi ya vijana wengi anampa nguvu lakini ule mama kilio cha moyo wake kikawa kimeogezeka kikawa kinamuita bwana na siku moja pale tumeanza verses 9 wao wameamka asubuhi kama jinsi walikuwa nafanya kila mwaka na wameelekea katika mlima 
wa kutoa dhabihu huyu ni mlima wa shiro na wamebebeana wote na wameenda kutoa dhabihu na bibi inasema kila mwaka erikana alikuwa anatoa dhabihu na wakati huo anatoa dhabihu ah huyu mama anashikwa na kilio if you read verses 9 That is first Samuel chapter 1 verse 9. Anashikwa na kilio na anaanza kulia na anaanza kumwambia Bwana, "Oh, ndipo Hana akainuka, walipokwisha kula na kunywa huko Shilo. Naye Eli kuhani alikuwa ameketi kitini pake penye mwito mwimo wa hekaru ya Bwana." Endelea. Naye huyo mwanamke alikuwa na uchungu lohoni mwake akamuoba Bwana akalia sana. Na kwa hivyo haikuwa utamaduni wa mama kuoba. Haikuwa utamaduni wa watu wa the Hebrew people for women to offer sacrifices. Lakini huyu mama akasema yaweze sina kibali cha kutoa madhabihu ama madhabihu the physical sacrifices lakini akasema hakuna anaweweza kunizuia kutoa dhabihu ya roho haleluya wanaweza nizuia kutoa dhabihu ambayo ni ya physical the physical sacrifices akasema i accept i am not a priest i am not a head of any family lakini akasema dhabihu ya roho ambayo Mungu hata ya hata ya garia chini hakuna abaye anaweza nizuia kutoa na huyu mama akashuka na akapiga magoti na akaanza kuliria Bwana na akaambia Bwana nikubuke Bwana oh akainua moyo wake na akapiga magoti haleluya na akaita Bwana na akamwambia Bwana wewe tu unayejua kilio cha moyo wangu wewe tu abaye moyo wangu umeishi kuwa umekufuni ume, ume, um, it is open to you my heart is always open to you akailia bwana na akamwambia bwana nione huruma actually anajiita you know the, uh, anajiita huyu mama wa nyumba anaitwa nani kijakazi anajiita kijakazi na anaambia bwana ona kijakazi wako muhurumie analilia bwana ningetaka kuwaambia jambo moja ambalo ilifanya hana afanye hivyo ni ya kwamba alijua ya kwamba hata kama bibi bwanangu ananipenda sana hata kama the society loves me so much alijua ya kwamba kuna mahali hawawezi nifikisha kuna kilio hawawezi nililia <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Eh, hey, kuna uchungu hawawezi nihisia. Yawezekana wananielewa. Hata wanaelewa ile shida ninayopitia. They understand my situation. But one thing is, they cannot cry for me. They cannot feel the pain for me. And so this is my time. Where I come from, nasemanga ya kwamba go the kereroti korerero. Haleluya. Alijua ya kwamba huyu mama anaweza nichekerea. She can mock me. But one thing is, she can never cry for me. I have to cry for myself. I have to call the Lord for myself. Wapendwa katika Bwana, kuna hali katika maisha yetu lazima tusimame. Lazima tuambie Bwana, enough is enough. Lord, come and change my situation. Haleluya. Kwanza zile barrenness ambazo ni Mungu amezilete katika maisha yako niko hapa kukuambia hakuna anaweza kulilia gotiri ungekorelela zile tasa ambazo ziko kwa maisha yako na ni Mungu amezilete anataka uinuke you cry to the Lord you know not all challenges we go through that are satanic there is some challenges we go through that the lord want to stir us in our faith anataka tuinue imani yetu anataka tumuririe katika hali ya imani na hizo challenges lazima sisi wenyewe tuinuke na tupige magoti kama si hivyo utaishi kuambia wapendwa ni obeeni wapendwa obea jamii yangu wapendwa 
obea familia yangu lakini Mungu anataka wewe mwenyewe hata kama wamekupatia chakula hata kama wamekupatia vinywaji kama jinsi walimpatia useme mimi siendi nyumbani i am not going to leave chilo i have to pray haleluya mimi sitakula tena siku kula 24 hours 7 days 365 days you never fast you can never fast on your own then you are trying to tell us that things will change in your life they will not change mambo itaishi vile ni kwa sababu Mungu amekusukuma amelete utasa katika maisha yako ili uinuke na wewe unaketi <laughs> praise the lord Mungu anakuletea shangamoto ili hiyo shangamoto inue imani yako lakini wewe unaangalia nyuma kule ulitoka unaanza kutazama kule ulitoka lakini Mungu anakuambia nitazame look up unto me the lord give us challenges in our lives to stir our faith and so back to the words we had we must mature we must mature lazima tuimarike lazima tuinue imani yetu si kila wakati uko na sahani ya chakula miaka nenda miaka rudi lakini moyo wako bado haulili bwana wakati mtubo iko na shibe moyo unakuwa na uhamba wa kumuita Mungu unakuwa ni mtu wabaye amepugukiwa katika hali ya maombi praise the name of the lord and so today i like us to bring a message to us about moyo wa anaye mwamudu bwana the heart of a worshipper the heart of a worshipper moyo wa anaye mwabudu bwana tukitazama maisha ya hana moyo wake nikitaka kusema ya kwamba maandiko yasema proverbs chapter 4 verses 23 ya kwamba lida moyo wako maana moyo wako dipo chemichemi za uhai zinatoka there is the spring of life god your heart kwa nini mungu anasema god your heart ni kwa sababu katika moyo wako hapo dipo uhai wa maisha yako unatoka dipo uhai wa doa yako unatoka moyo wako guard your heart let that one stay there and why does the lord tell you to guard your heart it is because when your heart is satisfied when your heart is full of the things of this world it is in a temptation to forget the lord and so you should guard your heart ili unajua ya kwamba mali niko nayo I can afford everything but this time is for my heart to fast. You don't have to fast because you don't have food. Haupaswi kujifunga kwa sababu hauendelei vizuri katika maisha. Unapaswa kufunga kwa sababu moyo wako hata ukure milele na milele. Your heart will always be weak. And so the Lord through Solomonic advice tells David my son guard your heart guard your heart praise the name of the lord guard your heart usitikie moyo wako ukawa umejawa na mambo ya ulimwengu ukajawa na anasa ukajawa na mambo ya kuona ya kwamba umeweza kwa sababu utamsahau mugu wako and so you shall become a religious person meaning you know the church but you don't know Christ ni kumaanisha kwamba utajua kanisa lakini hautamjua Mungu utajua neno lakini hautalisoma utakuwa mtu wa ibada somebody who comes to church mtu ambaye tuna celebrate kwa sababu ako na kiwango fulani yeye tunamuita jina fulani lakini moyo wake una udhaifu 
una udhaifu unapugukika na hali ya kumjua bwana call your heart and therefore the first thing that the heart of Hannah had is that she was a faithful woman alikuwa mtu abaye alimjua faithful ni mtu gani mwaminifu alikuwa mtu mwaminifu the heart of a worshiper is a heart of faithfulness ni moyo uliojawa na uaminifu she was a faithful woman alikuwa mtu abaye amejawa na uaminifu anapoenda katika shilo na anatoa dhabihu ya maombi na anamwambia Bwana utakaponibariki utakapobadilisha hali yangu utakapoondoa the barrenness in me Lord I shall give back this son to you The Bible says pale tumesoma we have read up to 20 if you go to 23 24 the Bible says when the child reached winning kuasha kunyonya Biblia inasema ya kwamba alienda akampeana pamoja na Bwana yake katika madhabahu. She was faithful to God. Wapendwa, Elikana mumewe akamwambia haya fanya uo, uonavyo vyema. Goja hata utakapomwashisha maziwa. Bwana anaridhibitisha neno lake. Basi yule mwanamke akagoja, akanyonyesha mtoto wake hata akamwashisha maziwa. Endelea naye alipokuwa amekwisha kumwashisha maziwa akamchukua pamoja naye i mean pamoja na Elikana na ngombe watatu na F i mean na F moja ya unga na chupa na divai akamleta nyumbani kwa Bwana huko shilo na yule mtoto aka, alikuwa mtoto mdogo she was a young man what i'm saying is she was faithful to god she was faithful to god she kept her word wapendwa katika Bwana wakati tunamridhia Bwana na tunamwambia abadilisha hali yetu eh are we faithful to god wakati tunamwambia Bwana utakaponiinua utakaponipa jamii nitaishi kuiobea utakaponipa mume nitasimama na yeye utakaponipa kazi nitatoa fungu la kumi the question is are you faithful to the vows nadhiri ulizozifanya Ulipooba Bwana utanipa kazi nitafanya siku sita ya saba nitakuja kwa hekalu siku gapi huja kuja kanisani kwa sababu ya mipango yako the lord is saying he want you to keep your covenant mungu hata kusukumilia kufanya nadhiri na yeye lakini unapoifanya for in your own i mean bila kusukumwa he want you to keep your covenant to keep your vows praise the name of the lord but this woman she kept the covenant she did not look at the hardship kwa bwanangu ataitikia ama hataitikia lakini biblia inasema ya kwamba she kept the covenant na kwa sababu mwanake aliona huyu mama ni mama ambaye amejitolea kwa bwana biblia inasema ya kwamba siku ilipofika ya kumpeleka mtoto kwa tika madhabahu walitembea pamoja praise the name of the lord they went with elikana the lord wants us to be faithful unajua mungu ako na shida kwa sababu amebariki watu ameinua watu lakini watu wametoroka wengine walikuwa naomba mungu anipe gari nitakapo utakapo nipatia gari sitakosa kuja kanisani maana changamoto ni gari mungu amekuinua umetoroka umeenda nitakapo watu wako katika mikutano ya maombi wanaoba Mungu nisikie Mungu anawasikia wakisha barikiwa they don't come for, me, for prayer meetings nasema prayer meetings ni zaware ambao wako na mwito wale ambao wako na vipawa i don't know which gift is there in the bible of gift in prayer there is no gift in prayer prayer is cultivated hakuna mtu abaya kona kipawa cha maombi there is no gift called the gift of prayer prayer is cultivated kwa hivyo usiseme fulani yako na kipawa cha maombi hapana ni wewe utawe na guo asha hakuna kiheo cha maombi it is your heart every believer every worshiper should be a prayer warrior hallelujah lakini mungu amebariki watu lakini wametoroka wametoroka hawaonekani eh? wanainua mikono kwa sababu ya shida goja shida ipotee ipote. mikono inakuwa mizito inainuliwa hapo 
Eh? Watu wanakuwa wako na program tight. Eh? Lakini goja mtu wa ya, tight ya kuja kanisani na kuja katika ibada za kanisa. Lakini goja wabarikiwe. They don't appear anywhere. They in their programs. But the Lord is saying, the Lord is saying kubuka mahali tulitokana na wewe. Rora hali ya tuabanireirie. Choko mafroini, choka mago manaini maajira. Remember how you started. Remember when you did not have anything. Remember how you used to cry to God. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm here to tell us in Jesus name. Let us go back to the true worship. Kile na vidi abayo tulifanya. Tusiwe watu wabao walikuja. Wakapewa kitu na mungu. Bada ya kupewa. Wakatoroka. Hawaonekani. Watu wegine wako hape. Siju wamepeleka family outing on Sunday. Nani ibada wakati wa ibada. You don't fight them. May the Lord help us in Jesus name. Praise the name of the Lord. Yakoba tukaweka na vidi zetu. Na vidi tulizo zisema. Mungu kinipatia jamii. Nitaombea mke wangu. Nitaombea watoto wangu. Nitakuwa nikiomba kabla walare. Sasa muna rara ata hawajui. You know, I shall train my children in the ways of the Lord. Ata sahizi, watoto wako, you leave them in, at home, you come to church. My friends, my friends, bring your children in the temple of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Mwikina kaniambia watoto, hawapendi kuja kanisa. Eh, hawapendi. Na wedi ye baba na unakuja. Eh? Waigize kwa gari. Wabira zima tuwede kanisa. Kwa ni kuja kanisa ni kitu rahisi. Razima ujipeane. Razima ujipeane. Washa kuwasha watoto wa merara. Wabira zima tuwede kwa ibada. Kama unataka hivi, razima uwede kanisani. Let the children know that the father knows God. I was teaching some people nikawabia. Watoto wako wajue unamjua mungu. Na unampeda mungu. Wacha wakati hauta kuwa. Watasema ya kwamba. Mimi nitaeda kanisani. Maana baba yangu. Haku waini yasha kwa nyumba. Tulikuwa tunaenda na yeye. They shall remember you for that. Take your children in the house of God. By fire, by force. Not by will. Apana. Bona asifiwe. Praise the name of the Lord. May the Lord help us in Jesus name. Yakoba tusije tukamsahau. Number 2 is that Hana alikuwa mtu abaye hakufa moyo. She she was she was not given up in prayer. Hakufa moyo. Alipitia shagamoto mingi, but she was persistent. Alisukumilia kile hitaji alikuwa nayo. She was persistent in prayer. She did not give up in prayer. Wapendwa katika jina la Yesu. Shagamoto zaweza kuja, lakini Mungu anatuambia tukawa watu ambao hawafi moyo. Fuatilia ahadi yako na Bwana. Follow your calling. Follow your heart desires. Tell the Lord, like this man said, I will not leave until you bless me, Lord. Alek Jakufu. Hallelujah. Suta toka hapa mpaka unibariki abia bwana i persist for you lord i will not leave to pray for my husband until he get born again i will not persist sitaasha kumwambia bibi yangu mpaka abadilike sitaasha kuwabea watoto wangu persist in prayer don't see things and don't act act in prayer kuna kitu tunaweza fanya tunaweza shindwa kubadilisha mambo lakini tunaweza oba ask to yourself Kwa ile chagamoto wabaya uko nayo, nini unaweza fanya? And start doing it in Jesus name. You can start in prayer. Don't give up. Praise the name of the Lord. You can't imagine the pain of a woman for 10 years without a baby. Arafu mtu mwigini anakuja na anapata mtoto. Lakini Biblia inasema ya kwamba, she persisted on God. Naka, na Biblia inasema, the following year, Bada ya ye kutoa dhabihu ya moyo wake. The following year, di walipata mtoto. Wow, wakwanza. May the Lord help us in Jesus name. Yakoba sisi ya tukata, tutakufa moyo. Tutakuwa watu. Abao, watasukuma mahitaji yetu kwa mungu. Mpaka ye ya tayafanya. Katika jina raesu. Oh my God, praise the name of the Lord. Yes, we shall leave our situation to God. We shall leave our problems and our burdens to our father. Number three is that alikuwa amejawa na sifa na utukufu. She was full of praise and worship. Moyo wake ulikuwa umejawa na sifa. Moyo wake ulikuwa umejawa na kumwabudu Bwana. Moyo wake ulikuwa umejawa na maabu ya Mungu. 
hata wakati yamekejeriwa wakati yametukanwa yeye alikuwa kisima cha uhai hakuogea maneno magumu hakuogea vibaya the bible says that he was a worshiper if you read chapter number 2 the whole of it hana worship the lord that is the title ukisoma biblia zingine zinasema hana praises the lord moyo wake the whole chapter anasifu bwana anamwambia mungu unastahili wewe unapatia actually anasifu, anasifu mungu kwa yale hajafanya anamwambia wewe ni mungu wabaye unapatia a barren woman seven children praise the name of the lord unampatia watoto saba unainua maisha unainua jamii tell the lord worship the lord moyo wako umejawa na nini moyo wako umejawa na nini biblia inasema ya kwamba Yesu akawaambia ya kwamba ukiwa na moyo safi ambayo hauna shida na dugu yako chochote utakachoomba Mungu atakufi, atakupatia in faith he shall grant you praise the name of the lord may the lord help us in jesus name ya kwamba tusiwe watu ambao wamejawa na uchungu milioni mwetu uchungu wa masononeko uchungu wa complaints uchungu wa kupiga kelele uchungu umejawa you know unajua aga na ingine tunaita kwa kigereza rage manguri eh wengine ni manguri kungathia you know mioyo imejawa haina hata mahali pa Mungu moyo imejawa mambo ya dunia ukiuliza mtu anaweza kuambia wachezaji wote wa Arsenal wa Man U lakini ukimuuliza alisait hata one bible verse hajui ni kwa sababu moyo wake umebiwa na chetani you know hana mahali pa Mungu ukimwambia akwambie vile vitabu ziko kwa Old Testament utasikia maneno utashaga kwa sababu the things of the world are full of his heart and let me tell you something our heart our heart if you don't tame your heart and train your heart in godliness moyo unaokota mambo ya ulimwengu unaokota mambo yote na ndio maana mtu akikuuliza mambo ya biblia kulihubiriwa aje unasikia kwamba hukubuki lakini ukiuliza mlikutana na nani barabarani na utaeleza wale wote hata gari zile uliona kwa barabara manake moyo wa binadamu lazima uonyeshe ile jia itafuata usipouonyesha unaenda ukiokota kila mahali na unapungukiwa na nafasi ya Mungu na inakuwa kama lile neno Yesu aliwaambia kwamba ni kama mpa, mpa, m, the farmer who planted zingine zikaanguka zingine zikaanguka if you don't tame your heart it becomes a hard ground for the word of god a hard ground for the word of god praise the name of the lord bwana asifiwe pugie ni mkono katika jina la yesu hallelujah praise the lord amen 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 mungu atusaidie katika jina la yesu ya kwamba tukawa na mioyo ya kumwabudu bwana wacha wakati uko peke yako mwambie bwana unastahili wakati unasikia shetani ananyemelea unasikia kapepo kanapita hivyo eh katamaza ulimwengu kaambie potea katika jina la Yesu ambie Mungu unastahili make your heart a worship temple in Jesus name haleluya na hii ni training ambao una train moyo wako unasikia ka kuna ka, 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 kitu kingine kanapita hivyo kafikra kabaya kabia kwamba umeshidwa katika jina la Yesu na kusifu Yesu unaanza kuabudu Bwana and your heart is cleansed praise the name of the lord number four is that i talk about persistent but i'm talking now about patience she had patient with god she had patient with god she had patient with god alikuwa mtu wa kumgojea Bwana hata wakati amekuwa hana mtoto kwa miaka kumi. Nikitaka kuwabia kwamba haikuwa kosa ya Hana kutokuwa na mtoto. Ilikuwa ni Mungu mwenyewe alikuwa amefunga tubo yake. Mungu alikuwa amemfunga ili aweze kugojea Bwana. Na ili wakati Mungu atambariki na atampatia baraka ya mtoto atasheherekea na watu wengi watamjua Mungu. Kwa hivyo God was maturing her patience. And you see Biblia sema katika Psalms 40. Ya kwamba Daudi, I waited patiently for the Lord. I want to tell you the greatest test that God tests prayer warriors and worshipers. 
is the test of patience. 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 Na patience imegonga watu wengi sana. Na kama kuna dhambi tunamkumbuka sala nayo. Ni dhambi ya kutomgojea Bwana. Manake zile shida zote zilikuja kwa boma yake. Hata waleo zile shida tuko nazo kwa imani katika yuri mwengu. Ziriletu na lack of patience. Manake ukienda katika inchi za the, 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 the Asian countries. Wale watu wako huko wote. Nikizao sa Hagai. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Na Hagai ya likuja kwa boma ya, 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 ya Ibrahim. Kupitia nani? Kupitia Sara. Manake ya likuwa mekuja kama kijakazi. Lakini yako wakati yako kijakazi. Bibi inasema ya kwamba pare ya kiwa kijakazi. Eh, kukaonekana opportunity Ya lack of patience Dia kaoreka na kapata mtoto Ile shida tuko na uduniani sahizi Ya imani It is because of lack of patience of Sarah My friend in Jesus name Have patience in the Lord Wait on the Lord Kuna maombi itachukua wakati Kuna maombi ya bayo haitaisha There is some barrenness that will take time But I am praying to you Take time Bwana asifiwe Have patience the Lord give us three answers. Yes, no, and wait. Wait is patience. Have patience in the Lord. And in the due time of the Lord, he shall do something beautiful in your life. Praise the name of the Lord. Gojea buwana. Ware wa mgojea buwana. Hawata ibika. Watasimama kama mrima zayuni. The Lord will come at his own appointed time. Praise the name of the Lord. Don't give up. Unachua kuna wadada wanagojea mungu. Wanaona hakuji. Paka mapepo inaanza kuwaogeresha. Umeroga sijui miaka gani. Hata siheri upate mtoto. Tafuta kibwana. Upate katoto mle. Iyo ni pepo baya sana. Eh? Na inanyemereaga watu wabawa wamekosha patience. Na uki, ukiwa hauko katika neno. Itakushika. Na unajua, na inakuabia, unajua ni kitu rahisi sana. Eh? Watakusukuma. Lakini utaitua pare sijui pastor session. Eh, Badae watu utaudisho wa kwa gea the Nika kitu rahisi Lakini siku na mtoto Shame on you Praise the name of the Lord Wacha hiyo pepo Isikie katika wewe Si mama na buwana Kama mungu wamesema utaoreka na 35 Na 40 Mungu wataku Iwakatu kifika The blessings of the Lord are death no solo Hapo hamusemi amen Lakini tawarazimisha Mana hakuna kitu mzuri kama baraka za mungu they come at the appointed time of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen to the voice of God. Usisikise binadam. And you see, the voice of the Lord will always be walk in holiness. Walk in holiness. Any decision you make, it is in line with the holiness of God. Praise the name of the Lord. If you want to test everything that comes to you, iweke katika mizani ya umungu. Iweke katika mizani ya the holiness of God. Ukiona haina haiti haifurufir yodoe katika jina la Yesu. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Number five. I'm going to number seven, but I'm number five. Is that alikuwa muobezi. She was an intercessor. Alikuwa mtu wabaye. And you see, an intercessor ni mtu wabaye mungu wana msaidia kuerewa akiri za mungu. Kuerewa moe wa mungu. Mungu anasaidia intercessor to understand the heart of God. Because the Lord will only reveal his heart to intercessors. Naelewa hapo. Mungu atafunua moyo wake na atafunuria tuwa obesi. Wale wanaomba, not in season, but all season. Si watu wakupeberuka, tamu wakiwa mafefe, wakati wakogres, krrrr. Wanaen, maga, kana maga firedeka, maga firedeka Chua, kongresi kiisha <coughs> Back to normal Apana, si watu wakuamuka Wakati kuna shida He, wanakuwa waopezi kwa msimu Apana, ni watu wabao Wanasimama kwa imani In season and out of season Ni watu wana, wakiamuka saatisa kuomba Si wakati kwa sababu tumeitana Apana, ni kwa sababu It is their tradition Ni odo ile wao it is their way of doing things. Are you getting me? These are intercessors. These are people who don't wake up because there is a problem. But they see the problem before it comes. Sasa wameanza kuobea uchaguzi wa 2027. Wameanza kuobea miradi ya serikali. Wameanza kuobea mabuata hatuoni. 
Praise the name of the Lord. Na wanaobea mpaka mambo ambao si yao hata haiwahusu lakini wanaoba lakini Mungu kabla akuje kutimiza hayo mambo anawatimizia. Are you getting me? Intercessors they know the heart of God. And you see wakati wameenda pale Shilo Biblia inasema ya kwamba she poured her heart to the Lord. Intercessors pour their heart to the Lord. And you see God in turn pours his heart to them. Na kwa hivyo wanatebea katika jia moja na Mungu. Mawasia yao na ya Mungu inaperekana. Mungu anawaambia obea hii, obea kasisi, kasisi yako na shida, obea familia ya yoda furani, simama nayo. Hata hawaendi kumwambia tunakuobea, hapana, wanaamka. Hata hawabii watu ninaobea nilikuwa na naobea furani, hapana, they start with the church. They do things behind the scenes and they don't celebrate. Praise the name of the Lord. Ni wale Yesu alisema ya kwamba ukitaka kuomba ingia kwa nyumba yako jifungie. Ja, alikuwa anamaanisha aje? Alikuwa anamaanisha ya kwamba si lazima utuambie unaomba. Lakini kwa siri yako uko katika maombi. These are intercessors. She was an intercessor. The Lord want us to grow in godliness, to become intercessors, to become people who can start with the nation. Are you getting me? Hallelujah. Nifanyeni hivi kwa upendo. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. 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 Intercessors know how to pray. Wanajua kile wanahitaji kuomba. Wanajua. Ni kwa sababu gani? Mungu amewafunulia siri zake. Nafungulia siri zake. Mungu anaanza kuambia kuna hika mati, sijui kwa bomas obea yale mambo ambayo wataogelelea mambo ambayo hata hayobewi Mungu anakufunulia siri obea ya kwamba mawasia watakayo yaogelea ikawa ni mawasia inaligana na inaligana neno la Mungu wasiende pale shetani naye akategeneza hema kule bomas ikabadilisha watu walikuwa wazuri na wakaigizwa wakaigiwa katika tamaa za mali unaelewa the lord reveals to you things that are done in secret na unaanza kuomba katika jina la Yesu. Praise the name of the Lord. Na waobezi ni kumaliza na mariza. Waobezi wanasoma neno. Na wanaposoma neno wanaangalia agano za Mungu. Na wanapojua agano ya Mungu wanasimama na hiyo agano. Nilikuwa naambia watu wengine ya kwamba wanaisraeli waliishi walikaa mji wa Egypt for 430 years. Na shida ilikuwa ya kwamba kulikuwa kumekosa mtu ambaye atajitokeza aanze kuomba aanze kusimama na hii wakati upuguke wakati upuguke na ili waashiriwe waende kwao lakini wakati huu jamaa anaitwa anaitwa Moses amekuja already wamekaa wameteseka wameona shida hakuna mtu ambaye amesimama na jamii wakati Joseph alikufa na wakati Moses anakuja hapa katikati watu wameteseka wametengeneza matulufari wamekata nyasi maana kulikosa mtu wa kusimama lakini wakati wa Danieli wanaisraeli wameshikwa wameshikwa mateka na wamapelekwa Babylon. Biblia inasema ya kwamba Daniel alipokuwa anasoma Biblia akasoma mahali ya kwamba pameadikwa that after 70 years are over they are going to be removed from Babylon and back to their lands. Daniel akaanza kuomba. Biblia inasema akaanza kuvaa sackcloth akaanza mpaka kukaa bila chakula na akaanza kutazama Yerusalemu akiomba. Let me tell you 70 years hazikuisha wakarudishwa Babylon. Ni kwa sababu kuna mambo ambayo imesimama. Lazima uombe ili ifanyike. Can you tell your neighbor you have to pray for it to happen? Kuna mambo imesimama, imesimama ti ki. Na lazima usimame uombe. Kuna mambo kwa jamii yenu imesimama. Unasema uitogo kolago kohana. Si uitogo kolago ni mtu ambaye hajasimama. Na aseme sheiga na ne sheiga na. And from today things will change. I was talking with another brother. Alikuwa ananiambia nyanya yake hajaoreka. Mama yake hajaoreka na yeye haoni kama ataoreka. Eh, msichana. Kamwambia, hiyo ni pepo, shidwa katika jina. Nani anakuambia lazima ifanyike kwa sababu nyanya yako hakuoreka, alipata mtoto nyubani na die mamako. Naye mamako akapata mtoto akiwa nyubani na ni wewe. Na wewe unaona ya kwamba hautaoreka utapata mtoto ukiwa nyubani. 
No! It needs somebody to stand and cut that trail and say from today nitafanya harusi ya kanisa katika jina la Yesu. Kwanza mimi niliangalia kwa familia yetu, hakukuwa na mtu amefanya harusi ya kanisa, elder. Miaka nenda miaka rudi. Hakuna. Nikasema, "Wow! Hii pepo nitapigana nayo." Haleluya. Nikapigana nayo. Wengine wale wameoa, wameoa wame wakiwa fortes. Nikasema, "I will not marry at 40." Immediately I graduate in the university, I will marry. And when I graduated, the following year, I did my wedding. Young as 25 years. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm telling you, you need to stand. Ni vizuri kuagaria pepo abayo ina nawiri kwenu. Ukarola kikomakiria, gitawaraga kwenu. Kio revi. Kama mimi niliagaria, nikaona kwetu kuna kipepo shaurevi. Nikasema, hii pepo ni meishida. Na mimi. Sita wai kunywa. Tika kareto nywa harage ya de. And up to date, I swear before the Lord, I have never drunk any wine, neither beer. Na hiyo pepo watu wanandiulizaga, unaiweza aje, kwa ni una tamaha, kwa ni wewe ulisema ni chai na uji na maji. Nika muwabishi unishi yojega. Na mimi naona watu wakiteseka, wekine wameshikwa na urevi, rakini hiyo pepo nilifanya nini? Nilishida. Kwa sababu, mapepo ikine razima uria recognize. Usipo irikogonize unaobaga kehoro sale. Eh? Kana poteleaga huko. Kana anza kumea. Razima ukajue ni haka. Na ukawabie wewe. Umemea mizizi huko. Lakini kutoka leo. Na kukata katika jina la yesu. Unajifuga kwa ajili hako kapepo. And let me tell you. I hear sometimes we pray. And abide every demon in Jesus name. I set them in Lake Victoria. I set them in Sijui Wapi. Kukuri. Rugurua. But let me tell you. All demons are defeated on the cross. Our work is to declare our liberty. You don't have to defeat that demon. You have to declare it that you are defeated in Jesus' name. When you are hot, you are hot. You are hot. You are defeated on the cross. You have no praise in me. Why are you doing? What are you doing? Who could see Kwenu? Where are you? 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 Mwanjira doa higa. Eh? Kesi ime shidoa. I mean, I've been given my liberty. I have come to tell you. That you are defeated in Jesus name. Recognize the demon. Yenye inakutawara. Usitikia ma demon ya babako. Ikuja itaware kwako. Itaware kwa jami yako. Na wewe unakuja kanisa. Wewe unakura geathe. Unakunyua defei. Sasa, why are you doing things religiously? Eh? And there is no power in them. Kwa ni unafanya mambo na utamaduni. Wewe, mashida iko kwenu. Zile shida za bara, umezitoa moranga na nyele kwetu. Na umezirete mobasa. Na mizeanza kukutawara. Kwa tusaidia katika jina la yesu. Unajua kuna mutu walihama na mashida za kwa. Wakaigia basi wote. Ka. Agi ukada anyeje shia kwa wawo. Sasa hizo mamede zimeaza kumusuburia hapa Alijaribu kuzipatia Dawa akiwa mulanga Zika kata Sasa hizi mamede Ukienda kuwa ke Aonani ala utawoyira Anakuabia Isi inyeje Nisi yetene Yuba yako ya bere Tulikuwa nazo Ya piri tuko nazo Ata huku Kwa hivyo ata ni meziri husu Ata huwa sizipati Sizipati dawa Unaitikia mapepo Unasema haya ni meyaru husu you need to change in Jesus name Can you start and say from today henceforth I want to declare in Jesus name Kama wewe jinsi ni mewabia Hau kupelekwa kanisani Ni wewe ulititafutia jia za mungu Na ukakuja PCA Wacha kuwashiria watoto wako Pia wawo wapote Ati wakajitafutia mungu Apana Iyo ni kuwashiria shetani wewe uko na nafasi umemjua Mungu elekeza watoto katika hiyo jia. Wacha kusema ati ni maka amenyagai, ati huyu agafa TV eda akura. No! No! Eh, wengine wanasema ya kwamba ni digefa TV kana geka nini? Eh? Na fatida yakura atirekee yugire kiradi. Praise the name of the Lord. In your faith, stand and say in my faith this is what I say in Jesus name. Na itakuwa katika jina la Yesu. Si Mungu atusaidie katika jina la Yesu. Yakobo yale mapepo ambayo ilitusumbua saa hizi haina kibali. Tuko na neema. Na ni neema 
ya Mungu. Number six is that she knew her God. She knew her God. Have I talked about that? She knew her God. Narijua mungu wangu. Mungu wangu. Kuna hiyo tunaibaga sadi siku. Esther. Mungu wangu mkubwa mkubwa. Mungu wangu. Eh? My son sings that song. Alijua mungu wake ni mkubwa. He, she knew that her God is great. Her God is not like this sacrifice. Mungu wake hapimu ina hitha bihu. Apana. Mungu wake hapimu ina na ngobe. Hii wanakatakata wanarete. Apana. Mungu wake ni mkubwa. Anaweza kufanya zaidi ya ninayo ya oba. Hallelujah. My God is great. He is full of abundance. He can give me beyond what I want. The way you see your God is the way he shall come to you. Mwabie mungu wewe ni mkubwa. Unaweza. Wacha kuna mungu kama anaponya tu kahoma. Eh, tumirimoto tu nini. Hizi kubwa kama kansa hawezi. Ye ya naweza. Hana kipimo. Eh, hey, he can do what he did yesterday. He can do it today. Increase your view for God. Wacha kuona mungu kama, uh, kama ni mtu wa, wa kupea watu kitu. Arafu, unapotea. Unarudi wakati wa shida. Apana, mungu ni mkubwa na muhitaji wakati wote. Na kwa hivyo, alijua ata nikioba mungu wa nipatie mtoto. Ye ya naweza kufanya zaidi ya hayo. Unajua mungu wa nifanya zaidi. Hakupatia tu mtoto, alimpatia mtoto na akampatia mnabi. Akampatia mnabi na akampatia the judge of Israel. The greatest judge in Israel was Samuel. Na kuna judge mwigine, abaye alifugua the lineage of Jesus. It is Samuel. Manake niye hame David na hame wakfu na katika Daudi tumekua na uzao wa Yesu Kristo. So Samuel became the greatest judge of all times in Israel. The greatest prophet of Israel. God can supply to you beyond what you think. Wacha kufikiria kwa mba haya ni maneno makubwa. Ati ni hoya gaya hoka bed sita. Apana, increase your view for God. Pray, he can give you beyond that. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Niyo da gaya hoka tuku tuku gago di kanida. Apana, tell the Lord, Father, you can give me beyond that. You are the one who owned this world. Tiga kuona haya mungu anaweza na haya hawezi. Anaweza. Mungu walie na, na, na ngobe nyingi katika mirima. Dia mwenye uhai. And there is no man who can give life. He can give beyond what you can think and comprehend. Buona zwe sana. Are you getting me? Increase your faith in the Lord. When the enemy comes to fight us, he fight our faith. And how does he fight our faith? He give us doubts. Unanza kuwa na doubts and fear. You know, let me teach you this. Eh? Fears and doubts is the opposite of faith. Na fear, we tigira. Kuriaga agaja. Fear feeds on doubts. Are you getting me? For it to increase the fear you have in your heart. Iriaga agaja, ayi. Acha, acha, ayi. Tukaja tunini, tunini, tunini. Tuku, tunategeneza fear, kuogopa, kuna kuwa kukupwa, kuna mea. Na sasa kuna po mea, kuna kuwa adui kubwa kwa imani. So when you start having doubts, and that is why Jesus tells them that if you pray for anything and don't have doubt, he mentions doubts. Do you know why? He knew. Ya kwamba hawa watu, <laughs> wanaweza abia murima usoge, Wede katika ziwa, rakini wanze kudoubt. Wanze kuona, ai, murima, kilimajaro. Ai, ai. Bwana asifiwe. Hakuna murima katika imani. Hawezi toka katika jina raisu. Usione udhaifu wako. Ukafikiria, diyo udhaifu wa mungu. Apana. Mungu hana udhaifu. The Lord can supply to us beyond what we can. Increase your faith. Wacha kusema u graduate tu, upate one degree. Apana, increase your view. The God of masters is the God of PhD. Are you getting me? The God who brought you to Mobasa can take you to US. The God who gave you a one bed sitter can give you a house in Yad. He can give you. Don't let your faith to be limited. Increase your horizons. Na mukikosa kusikia kitu leo, musikia hiyo. Musikia? 
Increase your faith in the Lord. Amen. 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 The God is able to do beyond what we can think or comprehend. I want to give the last point, then we pray. I don't want to keep us here for long, but I want to say that she rose above her challenge. Ali inuka ju ya changamoto yake. Unajua kuna shida zikine, abazo razima winuke. Razima utoke katika shida yako. Razima uwaze kuaddress shida yako ikiwa pare. Eh? You address your situation, you are above it. Let me tell you, you can only conquer what you are above. But anything that is above you can conquer you. So you have to raise your faith above so that your problem is left behind. Listen here. Yeye ni tasa. Tasa. Baren. Rakini haku itikia utasa wake. Utume asimtafute mungu. Kwa hivyo aliinuka juu ya utasa. Hallelujah. Na hakaanza kuadress utasa wake. Na let me tell you. When she rose above her charge. That is when change started to be in her life. Inuka zaidi. Kuinuka ni kumanisha inua imani yako. Inua imani yako. Juu ya shida unawe pitia. Usitikie shida ikufiinye. Na we uturie tu pare. Pa juu. Buwana asipiwe sana. Inuka juu ya shida yako katika imani. Abie shida yangu. Kunae mungu abaya na weza. Kufanya saidi ya nayo ni nayo ya omba. Tell the Lord, Father, you can change my situation. You can change my barrenness. You can change me, Lord. Inuka zaidi ya mahali uko katika jina la isu. Praise the name of the Lord. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Yakoba tuka inuka juu ya utasa ya mambo abayo imesimama katika maisha yetu. Mungu atusaidie katika jina la isu. Nataka tuombe. Nataka tuombe. Lakini tawapatia kastore kidogo kabla tuombe. Unajua mpago wa shetani ni tuishi katika hali moja kwa miaka yote. Uwe hakuna mabadiriko. Uwe ya kwamba wewe ni mtu wabaya hamis service ya kanisa. Unakuja zote. Lakini haukui. You don't grow. You don't become a true worshiper. One time, a friend of mine, akaniuliza swali. Mwangi, mimi, na shido ni kona shida gani maana nimeishi katika hii hali hii kazi nilipata 1995 sijawahi ogezwa mshahara wakiniogeza ni kunipatia pesa kidogo nimeishi hii hali kwa miaka migi na sijabadilika nimewafunza kazi watu wengi this is a, right, a true story nimewafunza kazi watu wengi wamekuja wamepewa promotion mpaka wamekuwa viongozi wangu lakini mimi sibadiliki. Akaniuliza shida ni gani? Akaniuliza shida ni gani? Nataka uniobe. Nimechoka katika hii hali. Alipokuwa ananipatia hiyo story, nikakumbuka vijana ambao wako kule bara. Vijana ambao wanatupandisha gari ya kwenda Nairobi. Eh? Kwenu wako. Wanamwambia, "Eh, hey, Nairobi, 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 Nairobi." Eh? Nairobi, Nairobi. Eh? Unaenda Nairobi na unarudi unamkuta wapi pale eh wengine alianza hiyo kazi miaka migi lakini hiyo narobi hajawahi eda yeye ni kuabiria watu narobi lakini hata narobi tirum eh hata saizi tusemagi niweke tirum stage ilibadilika yani mambo imebadilika na yeye bado anasema tirum 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 narobi 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 eh lakini yeye akawa ni kibao cha kuelekeza watu kwenda Nairobi lakini Nairobi yenye hajaifanya nini nikakupu nikaona huyu mzee yeye amekuwa kibao cha kuelekeza watu katika mahali kwa destiny katika hatima zao ametuka amekuwa kama lada ya kukanyago na watu watu wanainuliwa yeye hainuliki yeye anagogo na economy wengine wanaogezwa mishahara lakini yako wapi kazi yake ilikuwa ya ya ya, 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 ya hii kutumatumo inaitwaje yes Hajabadilika. Ye anatumwa mpaka anatumwa na vijana ambao waliwafunza kazi. Eh? Wamekuja kwa ofisi, amewaeleza hiyo. Ye wameinuliwa. I told the, the young man, one, give your life to Jesus. Let me tell you, giving your life to Jesus changes the life story. Are you getting me? So, akaniuliza, kuokoka tu? Kamwambia okoka. 
okoka neno linasema ya kwamba unapookoka unaanza kukua so we want to change the growth wachana hii growth ya mambo ya dunia hii unaagazia goja sasa hapa uko mtoto wa kiroho uanze kukua katika sehemu nyingine sasa nikamuobea na yule mzee akaitikia Yesu na akaokoka i want to give a different story around eight years down the line the man is no longer the man i knew since the time he gave his life to jesus mambo ikaanza kuinuka zile shida ambazo alikuwa anapambana nazo zikaanza kupotea siku moja tukapatana na yeye nikamuuliza umeona change karibia ye akaanza kunihubiria akaanza kunipatia ijiri nikamwambia shida moja ambayo ulikuwa nayo ni dhabi ambazo ulikuwa unazifanya zilikuwa zimekuzoea mpaka zimekushika sasa haunawili wapendwa katika jina la Yesu kuna mambo ambayo inakuwa imetushika hata hapa ni nene mpaka jioni kuna mambo ambayo imekushika haitawahi tuma unawili haitawahi tuma uendelee kwa sababu imeshika shina ya maisha yako eh imekausha shina ya mti na wakati shina ya mti imekauka katika like the fig tree wakati shina imekauka hakuna uhai so lazima hii shina ipate moyo tena na ipate nguvu tena na hiyo ni kumkubali Yesu Kristo praise the name of the lord there is what we call perennial seeds mia, me, za miaka na miaka dhabi ambazo nimeogea kuhusu umeinherit kutoka kwa wazazi wazazi walikuwa walevi na wewe ni mrevi wa kupindukia wazazi walikuwa wanauza sijui nini na wewe unauza na horse eh? na ni kitu baya eh? wazazi walikuwa let me tell you you have to change once you refuse the perennial seeds seeds dhabi za kitamaduni ambazo zimekuzoea mpaka zimeingia kwa DNA yao waka tukikata hivi unaweza toka pobe eh? tukikata hivi unaweza toka mpaka ukahaba tukikata tukikata hivi eh? unaweza toka mpaka hii kuogelea watu wengine maana yake imekuwa part of you the lord says today he can change your story he can change your story your story will only change when it changes from inside and let me tell you that man up to date he is so happy i brought to him the message of jesus na kutoka wakati huo akainuliwa akainuliwa bwana asifiwe praise the name of the lord amen 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 shall we start up in jesus name as we make this prayer <coughs> hallelujah hallelujah nataka tuombe nataka tuombe uh, nataka tuombe katika jina la yesu bila sauti yoyote nataka tufikilie tufikilie maisha yetu jinsi tumetebea na Yesu jinsi anataka kutubadilishia hali katika jina la Yesu kuamini ni kwa moyo umwambie Bwana Bwana madirisha hali yangu katika jina la Yesu mahali wazazi wangu hawakunawili mimi nitanawili katika jina la Yesu mahali wengine wameanguka katika hii biashara mimi sitaanguka inua moyo wako abia Mungu mahali wengine wamewekeza pesa zao zikapotea sangu hazitapotea katika jina la Yesu abia Mungu wahali wa, 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 wazazi wangu hawakufika katika imani mimi nitafika katika jina la Yesu abia Mungu atakase maisha yako ainue hali yako abadilishe hali yako katika jina la Yesu Mungu badilisha mioyo yetu badilisha mioyo yetu jioni ya leo katika jina la Yesu tunaomba ya kwamba fill our hearts with godness oh lord fungua mioyo ya moyo wako mwambie Mungu inua moyo wangu inua hali yangu inua maisha yangu katika jina la Yesu nisaidie kuwa mwabudu Nisaidie Mungu tukua mtu wa kuku wa kukua bundu katika ukweli katika ukweli katika jina la Yesu tell the lord i will worship you lord in truth and in uh, and in faithfulness o oh lord in truth and in holiness in imani yako mwambie bwana na kuhitaji na kuhitaji bwana i rise above every challenge in my life i rise above every barrenness in my life in my career mahali kumekataa kukua ninakataa katika jina la Yesu nisaidie kuinuka juu tu ya mambo yote ambayo ninayoyapitia katika jina la Yesu oh my god you are able to do beyond what 
I can see beyond what I can think unaweza kufanya zaidi ya ninayo yaomba unaweza kufanya zaidi ya ninayo yafikiria oh my god i shall wait on you dear lord nitakugojea nitakugojea katika jina la yesu moyo wangu utajawa na shukurani sitalaramika nitasema ni asanta kwa kile umenipatia abia moyo wako jifunze kuabia mungu ni asanta kwa yale mambo kidogo katika jina la yesu abia moyo wako i shall be persistent in prayer i will not give up in waiting the lord i will not give up in my journey with the lord katika jina la yesu abia moyo wako i shall be faithful to my god i shall be faithful to my god nitaweka nadhiri zangu nadhiri za familia yangu nadhiri ya kuwa baba mzuri nadhiri ya kusimama kwa doa nitaweka nadhiri zangu nadhiri nilizozifanya wakati wa wa wa, wa, wa harusi yangu nitasimama nazo katika jina la yesu sitafanya dhambi sitafanya dhambi katika jina la yesu inua moyo wako abia bwana moyo wangu utakuwa hekalu hekalu takatifu katika jina la Yesu Kristo Oh my God oh my God we give you glory we give you glory in the name of Jesus tusaidie tukawa watu wa kukuabudu katika ukweli katika jina la Yesu nazo dhambi ambazo zimetuzoea the perennial sins is against them today in the name of Jesus we want to rise above every challenge that we go through in the name of Jesus. Tusaidie Bwana tukawa na moyo kama wahana. Tusaidie tukawa na moyo kama wahana katika jina la Yesu. Tuwakushukuru na tunakuabudu. Maana wewe ni Mungu. Hakuna mwingine kama wewe. Abia moyo wako kutoka siku ya leo. Nisaidie kusimama. Nipe moyo wa Hana. Abia moyo wako. Mungu nipe moyo wa Hana. Nipe moyo wa Hana. Nisaidie kuwa kama huyu jemedari wa imani. Tunamkumbuka Hana kwa sababu alipitia shangamoto, lakini hakuashiria zile shangamoto zimarize. Abia moyo wako. Oh my God, raise me like Hana in Jesus name. Oh my God, ambia moyo wako. Star my faith. Star my faith my God. Star my faith in Jesus name. Star my faith oh God for you are Lord and you are God hakuna mwingine kama wewe tunakuinua na tunakutukuza katika jina la Yesu tunaomba na kuamini amen 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 Jesus said that when you pray believe in your heart that everything that you pray he is able to supply to us this we pray in Jesus name Amen. Shall we put our hearts together for Jesus? May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord favor you.